From the moment we take our first breath, an unseen yet magnificent plan begins to unfurl, designed by the creator of all things. It is not random or accidental, but deliberate and filled with intention. Jeremiah 1, 5 proclaims, Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, before you were born I set you apart. These words echo through time as a reminder that each life is crafted with care, woven into a divine tapestry where every thread serves a purpose. God, the master artist, sees the entire masterpiece even before a single stroke is made. In his infinite wisdom, he knew the challenges you would face, the victories you would celebrate, and the growth you would experience. Every detail of your life, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, is part of a grand design shaped by his loving hands. The trials, though painful at times, become the dark threads that enhance the brilliance of his work, highlighting the beauty of redemption and grace. This declaration of purpose is not reserved for the extraordinary but extends to every individual. To be set apart is to be called into a relationship with him, to walk a path illuminated by his guidance. You are not simply one among billions, you are uniquely known and deeply loved. Before your heart beat for the first time, God envisioned your journey, not as a map free of obstacles but as a story of his faithfulness through them. As you reflect on this truth, remember that your life is not a series of coincidences but an intentional and sacred narrative. The Creator who breathed stars into existence has breathed purpose into you, equipping you with gifts and a calling that will glorify him and bless others. You are an essential part of his eternal masterpiece. Think back to your childhood. Can you recall moments that felt unexplainably profound? Perhaps you sensed a divine presence in times of stillness or noticed a spiritual curiosity that set you apart from your peers. These were not coincidences but divine markers, evidence that you were being chosen for a unique and significant purpose. Take a moment to remember those dreams that stayed with you. The quiet voice of intuition or the pull you felt toward helping others in need. These were signs that God had planted seeds of purpose within you. As C.S. Lewis wrote, underscore, every faculty you have is given you by God, underscore. Even as children, we are equipped with spiritual gifts that will later bloom into a life of faith and action. From a young age, some individuals possess an extraordinary sensitivity to the world around them, especially the unseen and the divine. This sensitivity often manifests in quiet reflective moments where creation itself seems to speak directly to their hearts. Perhaps you felt inexplicable peace in the stillness of a night sky or a gentle stirring in your soul as you watched the sun set in fiery hues. These experiences are not random, they are whispers of God's presence, drawing your attention to the beauty and wonder of his creation. This unique connection often sets people apart, as their spirits are naturally attuned to something greater than themselves. While others might overlook the deeper meanings hidden in ordinary moments, those with this sensitivity notice the sacred in the seemingly mundane, a simple breeze that feels like a hug from heaven or the rhythmic sound of rain that seems to echo God's promises. It is as though their spirits are more finely tuned to hear His voice, even in the quiet. The Bible captures this beautifully in Proverbs chapter 20, 27, the human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. This sensitivity acts as a divine compass, illuminating the path ahead and guiding the heart toward God's greater purpose. It's through this heightened awareness that individuals can sense his leading, feel his comfort in challenging times, and respond to his gentle nudges. Over time, this gift becomes a cornerstone of faith. It cultivates a deep reliance on the Holy Spirit and an openness to God's whispers in moments of stillness. Through prayer, worship, and reflection, this sensitivity can grow stronger, transforming fleeting impressions into profound insights. It is a reminder that God's presence is not distant but intimately woven into every corner of our lives. To possess this spiritual sensitivity is to carry a lamp that lights the way toward divine truth, revealing His love and purpose in every step. Empathy is one of the purest expressions of God's love flowing through a person. It allows us to connect deeply with the hearts of others, transcending barriers of circumstance, culture, 
and understanding. If you were the child who noticed the quiet sadness of a classmate who couldn't bear to see someone in distress, or who instinctively reached out to comfort a grieving soul, this was not mere sensitivity, it was God's love in action, working through you. Empathy is not simply feeling for someone, it is feeling with them. It is the divine ability to step into another's pain or joy and reflect Christ's compassion in a world that often overlooks the hurting. This ability, deeply rooted in your spirit, points to your unique calling as a bearer of hope and comfort. Romans chapter 12, 15, Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn, beautifully captures the essence of this gift. It is a calling to mirror God's heart by celebrating with others in their victories and sharing their burdens in times of sorrow. When you mourn with those who mourn, you do more than provide solace, you validate their pain and remind them they are not alone. When you rejoice with those who rejoice, you magnify their joy, showing them the richness of shared blessings. These actions, though simple, reflect the profound truth that God is near to the brokenhearted and delights in his people's triumphs. This spiritual gift of empathy also serves as a bridge to ministry and deeper connection. Through it, you can touch lives in ways words cannot, offering a presence that heals, uplifts, and inspires. In a world that often rushes past others' struggles, your empathy is a testament to God's healing love. Flowing through you to remind others of his tender care, many chosen individuals recall vivid dreams that seem to carry a deeper meaning. These dreams may have been messages from God, as the book of Job reminds us, underscore, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people. He may speak in their ears, underscore. Job 33, 15 to 16. Consider the dreams that left imprints on your soul, were they warnings, affirmations, or glimpses of the future? These experiences are sacred, a direct channel between you and the Creator. Feeling different from others, especially as a child, can be both a confusing and isolating experience. You might have wondered why you didn't quite fit in, why your thoughts and feelings seemed out of sync with those around you. Perhaps you were drawn to deeper questions about life and purpose, or found joy in solitary moments of reflection while others gravitated toward the crowd. These feelings of singularity, though difficult at times, are often signs of God's calling, setting you apart for a divine purpose. Romans chapter 12, 2 encourages us not to conform to the patterns of this world but to embrace transformation through the renewing of our minds. This verse reveals that being different is not a flaw, but a necessary part of God's plan. To be chosen by God often means walking a path less traveled, one that defies the expectations of the world and aligns with his higher purpose. This unique journey requires courage, as it often involves standing firm in your convictions, even when they make you an outlier. While the world may push conformity, God calls his chosen to embrace their singularity. It is in this difference that his glory is revealed. By stepping away from worldly patterns, you create space for his spirit to work through you, guiding your thoughts, actions, and decisions. The transformation that occurs when your mind is renewed by God's truth allows you to see yourself through his eyes, as fearfully and wonderfully made, uniquely equipped to fulfill the purpose he has designed for you. In time, what once felt like isolation begins to reveal its deeper meaning. God uses those moments to draw you closer to him, to teach you reliance on his strength rather than the approval of others. Your singularity becomes a strength, a beacon that points others toward him. Embrace it, for it is through this difference that God's love and purpose shine most brightly. Struggles are an inevitable part of life, but for those chosen by God, they hold a deeper purpose. Far from being random or meaningless, challenges become the tools through which God shapes us into the image of Christ. Romans chapter 5, 3-4 reminds us that suffering is not the end of the story but the beginning of a transformative journey. Suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Through this process, our faith is strengthened, and our trust in God grows as we experience His faithfulness in the midst of trials. Imagine your life as a mosaic, a work of art crafted with precision and care. The broken pieces, the heartbreaks, disappointments, and failures are just as essential as the vibrant moments of joy, victory, and love. 
Each shard, though seemingly disconnected in the moment, is placed by the creator's hand with a vision for the masterpiece he is creating. What may feel like chaos or brokenness now is part of a design so intricate and beautiful that only he can see it fully. The process of assembling a mosaic requires patience and trust. It is in surrendering the broken pieces to God that we allow him to create something extraordinary. Each challenge becomes a thread in the tapestry of your life, contributing to a story of redemption, resilience, and divine purpose. Like gold refined in fire, trials burn away impurities, leaving behind a faith that is genuine and steadfast. This perspective transforms how we view hardship. Instead of seeing struggles as obstacles, we can see them as opportunities for growth and deeper dependence on God. They teach us perseverance when the road is long, build character as we respond with faith, and birth hope as we witness God's ability to bring beauty from ashes. In His hands, nothing is wasted. The trials you endure today are shaping you into the person God has called you to be, preparing you for the purpose He has designed uniquely for you. Trust Him with every broken piece, for in His artistry, they are woven into something far greater than you could imagine. One of the most beautiful aspects of being chosen is the closeness we feel to God. This connection is not earned but freely given, a reflection of His love for us. Psalm chapter 145, 18 declares, underscore, the Lord is near to all who call on Him, underscore. From your earliest days, you may have sensed His presence, like a faithful friend walking beside you. In moments of fear, uncertainty, or loneliness, remember this truth, you are never alone. God's love surrounds you, His Spirit guides you, and His angels protect you. Psalm chapter 91, 11 assures us, underscore, He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. As you journey through life, let the signs of your calling inspire you to embrace your divine mission with courage and humility. Reflect on the lessons of your childhood and allow them to fuel your faith. Each step you take, guided by the Creator, brings you closer to fulfilling the purpose He has uniquely crafted for you. C.S. Lewis beautifully captured this idea when he wrote, underscore, the only thing you have to do in this world is to serve God, underscore. Your life, shaped by divine intention, is not just a story for yourself but a beacon of hope and inspiration for others. Let us pause to offer a prayer for guidance and strength. Heavenly Father, thank you for choosing us long before we knew you. Thank you for the signs of your love and purpose in our lives. Help us to walk boldly in the calling you have placed on our hearts, trusting in your plan and your timing. May our lives reflect your glory and inspire others to seek you. In Jesus' name, Amen, underscore. You are not here by accident. Your life is part of a grand narrative written by the Creator Himself. Embrace the calling, trust the process, and remember, you are deeply loved, uniquely gifted, and divinely chosen.